Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Maroon and Gold Family Connection Chat. I'm Taylor Gibbs, your moderator for today, as we talk about fall, welcome, and move in. We're joined today by Tim Desch. Hi, Tim. Hi, Taylor. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good can to be you, here. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Sure. Um, I've worked at ASU for the past uh, 31 years. I'm currently an assistant dean of the W.P. Carey School of Business. Also serve as the new student and family liaison for the university and previously worked uh, in the Alumni Association and as Director of Admissions. Uh, but most importantly, I'm the proud parent of a very recent uh, ASU graduate. Wow, congrats. Thank you. Many new Sun Devil families will be experiencing move-in, so my question to you is what can you tell our parents about this? Well, first of all, I, I look at move-in as almost as important as graduation. It really is one of the two bookends to your student's experience. So it's important to take full advantage of everything that's available to, uh, to go through that transition with your student. And there are some wonderful resources and activities uh, and services that are made available to parents and their students uh, during move-in. So as an ASU parent yourself mm -hmm. that you um, said previously, what was your experience like during ASU move-in? Uh, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, my son graduated a year ago, so he moved in five years ago, uh, which means, by the way, he graduated in four years. So just a little message to the parents there. <laughs> um, and the move-in was very smooth. Uh, there were people available to help. Uh, it was very much like pulling up to the entrance to a nice hotel, having people come and get everything, move it to the room, uh, and we did not need to do much. And there were people there to help, to greet, uh, and as I said, many services. And that was five years ago. I can only imagine that it's even better now. So you observed housing move in for quite a few years as mm -hmm. an ASU employee. What, what are some important resources that families could look forward to? Uh, I think it's important to, to appreciate the fact that there are so many resources and services available today. Uh, I recall a time when they weren't uh, as readily available and move-in was a matter of one of two things, either slowing the car down, pushing the student out and driving on and that was it, um, not really, uh, <laughs> or uh, helping lug lots of luggage and materials and everything that the student owned. Um, by yourselves into the residence hall. And that was basically it. So it was uh, a bit of an ordeal. Uh, today, it is completely different from that. As I described earlier, there are people there to help with the move in. There are scores of people there to, to meet from uh, officials in the residence hall, both students and professionals, uh, people who represent the colleges. So it's a great opportunity to fully appreciate and understand what your student is going to, where they're going to be living and what they're going to be experiencing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So once families complete move in, they don't have to rush home, right? No, no. So what advice do you have for families and students to do during move in mm -hmm. weekend? Well, the, the move in weekend and, and really that time leading up to uh, classes starting on that Thursday, it really is that transition time. The early part of the week, including the weekend, is dedicated to uh, helping your student move in, get settled in, make sure they have everything, making the target run and everything else that you need to do during that time. Uh, and also becoming, in some cases, acquainted with the campus for the first time or reacquainted if you've been there before. Um, a lot of the activities for both parents and students are centered in the student's college. Uh, so there you have an opportunity to meet officials from the college, other students, and so on. So I would say for the first two to three days, all of the activities focus on both parents and students, and then it's only after about Tuesday where, where the parent activities start to taper down a little bit, the student activities um, start to increase, and that's kind of a good time for the, the parents to make their way home. Mm. That's great advice. What are some ways families can plan ahead with move-in and welcome? Well, I know there's a lot of information coming out, so just make sure that you do check your email, that your student checks their email and their My ASU page, because there's a lot of good information coming out there. Uh, I also understand at this time that you can download the ASU app onto your phone or other device, and all of the Welcome Week activities uh, very shortly will be loaded onto the ASU site so that you'll be able to actually plug those into your calendar and plan everything for the week. It's a good idea to plan ahead. Thank you so much for sharing this information with our ASU families. We look forward to seeing everybody in the fall. Thank you.